Black Diamond has a history of carabiner innovation. One of the biggest things we came up with uh, in the mid-90s was you know, the first wire gate carabiner for climbing uh, called the Hot Wire. And since then, we've had other successes, hot forge gates, hood wire, grid lock, and now uh, the biggest breakthrough we've had is the Magnetron. So as often happens uh, in climbing gear design, you get stuck in an existing paradigm. You're all using the same technology that your competitors are using, and it's really difficult to think different. With locking carabiners, to make them secure, we had to make them difficult to use. And that's because we were all using exactly the same methods to, to make, make the locking beaner. The Magnetron departs from that existing technology, which was solely based on springs. Um, we've got a new technology, which is based on magnets, and magnets can do things that springs cannot. And this allowed us to design a locking carabiner that was very secure, but at the same time, easy to use. This model illustrates what magnets can do that springs cannot. There are no springs in this model. This is the magnetic fields repelling each other, and that's what keeps the arms apart. When the steel is introduced, the magnets are attracted to the steel, and that's what locks the carabiner. This idea in the magnetron carabiner, when the gates open, the magnets in each of the arms repel each other, just like the model, and when the gate closes, they're attracted to the steel piece in the nose, and that locks the carabiner. And the design is completely symmetrical. So whether you open it with your right hand or open it with your left hand, it's the same. And it's very easy to do, and it's very secure. Mm -hmm.